Your healthcare provider has approved for you and your caregiver to receive training to remove an implanted port needle. This instructional video will help you remove your port needle effectively, comfortably, and safely. Do not attempt to remove your port needle without discussing with your healthcare provider and receiving education from your nurse. To get started, select a clean work area. Once established, clean your hands thoroughly using antibacterial soap and warm water. If no soap and water is available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, followed by drying your hands with a clean towel. Gather your supplies as instructed, flush syringes, alcohol wipes, sterile gauze, non-sterile gloves, bandage if needed, sharps container. Next, prepare your flush syringes. Prior to using syringes, push firmly on the thumb press with the tip cap still on, just until you feel the plunger move. Expel air and excess solution by twisting off the tip cap and pushing the plunger forward. Push out extra solution to the amount instructed by your nurse. Finally, replace the syringe cap, being careful not to touch the tip of the syringe with your hand. If you touch it, you will need to start over with a clean syringe. Set aside the syringes until you are ready to use them. Repeat this step for all flush syringes needed. You are now ready to flush the port needle extension set with saline. Scrub the injection cap for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. Remove the protective cap from the saline flush syringe. Attach the saline flush syringe to the injection cap and open the clamp on the tubing. Flush tubing using a push-pause method. Do not attempt to flush if resistance is met. Double check the clamp is open, then call your nurse or pharmacist. Lastly, remove and discard the saline flush syringe in a trash container. Following this step, you will flush the port needle extension set with heparin, unless your port has a Groshong tip, such as a power port. Scrub the injection cap for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. Remove the protective cap from the heparin flush syringe. Attach the heparin flush syringe to the injection cap. Flush tubing using a push-pause method. Close the clamp on your tubing. Lastly, remove and discard the heparin flush syringe in a trash container. You are now ready to remove the port needle. Carefully remove the dressing holding the port steady with the fingers of one hand. Continuing to hold the base of the port, pull the needle up and out of the skin. You will hear a click, indicating that the safety device has been activated. Discard the needle as instructed into a sharps container. If bleeding occurs, apply pressure with sterile gauze until it stops or apply a bandage if needed. This concludes removing an implanted port needle. If you are accessing an implanted port, please refer to the education materials on accessing an implanted port provided by your nurse. Each time you remove an implanted port needle, you will get more comfortable with the supplies and the steps. For any questions or concerns you might have, please contact our highly trained specialty nurses who will help you understand the basics of home infusion therapy and will answer any questions.